Hey, what is up guys? This is Chris the Sci-Fi Gamer, and I got some good news and bad news. Bad news is this week there actually is no Forge news. I know what you're thinking. Chris, how can you do a Forge news with no news? Well, I'm going to take this opportunity and do a Forge news recap with you. This list is from all the objects I have reported in the Forge news series. I went through the videos and selected three items I am most excited about to recap on. And just in case you are wondering why there is no news, it's because Tom French hasn't been on Twitter. We can only assume that he's hard at work focusing all his attention to adding in some great new Forge objects for the next update. I hope though to see Tom back on Twitter soon. In the meantime, I'm also looking to include more than one source of Forge news, just in case in the future Tom doesn't give us any juicy Forge news like this week. But anyways, let's begin. So in a previous Forge News episode, I reported to you that Rex will eventually trickle down into Forge. Tom told us, full Rex support for Forge is something we want to do, but a little bit down the line. Now this makes me extremely happy because I am one of the most unlucky people when it comes to Rex packs. I barely get any good Rex. So being able to Forge with them and be able to use them in custom games makes me really happy. And I'm sure the Rex can add to some machinimas as well. Next up is Warzone buildings entering into Warzone. These buildings will give a lot more options for forgers when building. Tom confirmed these buildings coming to Forge when a user asked him if they could be added. Tom exactly said, when prefabs come online you can build and share them. They are big and have a lot of space to forge inside of them as well. They are just really great bases and they would make life a lot easier when forging. So last up is Covenant Palettes. To be more specific, Phantoms and Spirits. We have pelicans now, so why not cubby dropships? That is exactly what a user told Tom. And Tom said, for sure on the list, hoping when we drop a set of cubby stuff. I know a lot of people are really happy about the cubby stuff coming to Forge, as am I. It just really adds, it adds a lot of diversity to the maps you're building. It's very welcoming. So this is my list of things I really want to see, and it's all stuff that is very likely to be added at some point. But my question is, what do you want to see in Forge? Tell me down below. Also, this week's winner of fan art goes to the only person that submitted some. Captain Swaggins. Here's some of his work. As you can see, it's really well done. My personal favorite is the Promethean Knight. If you have any art that you want to see featured on the channel, send it to sci-fi gamer yt at gmail.com. Who knows, you might see your art featured here. And you probably actually will because, you know, no one submits any anyways. Anyways, guys, that concludes this episode of Halo 5 Forge News. Yes, I know this is old news, but be sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Facebook and Twitter links will be in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and tell your friends too as well. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Remember, keep on gaming. See you all next time.